Maybe you offer a little change. Maybe you avert your eyes and pretend they aren't there. Whatever your tactic for dealing with panhandlers on the boulevards, understand they may be using a tactic on you. Rebecca Lesko on the game of cat and mouse. Dane Rusk will think twice before handing out spare change again. Well, the ticket's $175, and the $3 I gave to him, I'm out $178, all because I was trying to help out a homeless guy. It happened Wednesday as Rusk was leaving the Victoria Square Mall. As I came up to the stop sign, I stopped and I looked and I saw this homeless, homeless guy holding a sign. I instantly felt sorry for him. That's when Rusk says he took off his seatbelt and grabbed $3 from his pocket. I reached out. I had to undo my seatbelt and hang over and drop the change on the curb. But this wasn't an ordinary panhandler. It was an undercover police officer. Moments after dropping the change, Rusk was pulled over by police on Victoria Avenue and issued a ticket. I said, what do you, what do you mean? I, I didn't talk to any police officer. And he said, well, yeah, you gave him money. And I said, oh, the homeless guy. And that's when I was, I was pretty shocked. Regina police say this is nothing new. It's part of the intersection projects watching for traffic violations. The intersections are probably one of the most um, critical areas when it comes to accidents, obviously, and our high volume intersections are, are ones that we tend to target. So we will run random intersection projects throughout the city. The police officer's sign was not soliciting money. Panhandling is not considered a crime. However, Regina does have a bylaw law that prohibits soliciting to vehicle occupants in high traffic areas. That's why Dale Lakeman no longer holds up a cardboard sign. Instead, he collects bottles to support himself. He feels for Rusk. Cancel that seatbelt ticket that that gentleman got because look at the poor guy took pity on a, on a homeless person to give him some money. Lakeman hopes it won't deter others from giving to homeless people. Man, what would I have to do? Go and give, give that person my $50 or $20 that I made from panhandling? Because, I mean, holy, he's just trying to help a person. An expensive lesson from a good deed gone wrong. Rebecca Lesko, CTV News, Regina.